Hey guys, Zach here at The Path. Today I'm sitting down with someone a little new, probably haven't seen him around before. This is Dom. Dom, I'm Dom. Who, do you, who do you work for? I work for a couple different brands. I am an outside sales rep in Southern California, uh, but the main brand that we're here with is Smith. You can see it all uh, displayed right here. Got some products for you to see. Um, but yeah, no, I've been working for Path for a couple years and with Smith about four years all together. And we're out here today to uh, tell a little about the company. Awesome. How did the company start out? So kind of a different story, actually. Uh, the name Smith comes from our founder and inventor, Bob Smith. He was uh, orthodontist by trade, uh, but a total ski bum when he was out uh, not cleaning teeth. Uh, how he started was 1965. He was frustrated that all these glasses or some sort of eye protection that he was using was fogging on him all the time or just allowing way too much air in. So he decided that he was gonna invent something. So he came up with the first sealed thermal lens, uh, which really helped cut out the uh, fogging that he was experiencing and then also made ventilated foam. So he can also then protect it from the elements of going inside the goggles with also adding breathability. Um, but he was kind of a little bit of a, a mad scientist. He created the uh, turbofan in 1979. And if you, anybody remembers that, it was literally a little fan at the temple of the goggles. Why don't they still make that? I need one of those. I know, right? That would be fantastic. No more fogging up. You get like nice little cool breeze on the eyes Seriously. too and everything. Yeah. Uh, we still do it in some military uh, aspects, but not in as of now. Can we sell those? I know, right? I want to get that's those a, too. Cool. Eventually, maybe, <laughs> but right now, no. So we had the turbo fan and then Bob Smith was the first one to patent the uh, motorcycle uh, tear-offs or roll-offs. So everybody knows what those are. Oh yeah. They've been around for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, he was the first one to patent it, bought the idea from Scott actually, and then brought it to market, awesome. which, was, uh, which was very cool. So let's talk helmets. You guys make a ton of variety of different helmets, whether it's road helmets, mountain bike helmets, commuter helmets. Let's go through some of the mountain options you guys have. So it's nice that we finally do make that much. Uh, at first, we used to just be a boutique brand, uh, starting at really high price points, and uh, that really limited us on what customers we can go for. Mm -hmm. And within the last just few years, we decided to uh, extend our line and uh, bring in more price points, more options, commuter like you were saying, um, which is totally different from where we kind of have our company going, uh, but we wanted to really market towards everybody that's gonna have a bike. So we see more Smith out there on the road, not just on the high jump line. But right. Yeah, options for every price point, realistically. It, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, I mean, the main thing, especially with you guys being uh, mountain driven, we uh, decided like we're just gonna show the mountain line, really just stay towards that. I mean, that's where we're true. That's, main, uh, that's mainly what we're gonna sell. It makes sense to focus on that. Exactly, exactly. So as you can see, this is the uh, full entire mountain line. Uh, we're starting, as you can see, from base model working our way up. And what I really wanted to start out with is going to our base model called the Convoy. Uh, the Convoy is going to be our start into the Smith line. Uh, especially in the mountain line. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have, of course, your visor, a little bit of a back end that's coming down, uh, but also have great ventilation on here as well. Um, you're gonna have the EPS foam that most helmets are made with, and then also have the MIP system, which is really nice in here. The cool thing about this MIP system too is it's black, um, so you can really disappear in the helmet so you don't see it too much. Um, so great as a start entry price point, for just the Smith helmet itself and to uh, be able to rock this. So that's gonna be the convoy. Um, we're gonna start going to our engage, which if you can see the profile of this, we're definitely coming back a little bit further in the back. So you can start getting a little crazy on this one. Uh, you got moving visor, which is really nice on here. Again, great ventilations, EPS foam, and uh, still the MIPS on here. But uh, yeah, you can still get starting to get some good air with this and uh, be protected. So, sim pretty similar to the convoy, but the little extra features. Exactly. Little extra protection. Similar, uh, but you can see the profile, it comes down a little bit further right. now. I mean, you're getting more of that temple uh, protection as well, this little swoop right here. Mm. So yes, uh, similar, but beefing itself up and just more coverage. Um, and then, so EPS foam and MIPS, you know, that's what a lot of 
other bike companies have, um, or helmet brands, sorry. Uh, it's great, it protects the, uh, protects the head, but uh, we wanted to do something uh, different. So what we had uh, to add, which before I even get in there, we have now integrated into our helmets. We've been doing it from the beginning, but we have what's called Coroid. And if you can see, it's like almost fully air. If you can see right through that. Um, some people like to call it, uh, looks like straws, uh, but they're these um, pretty much little, let's just call them straws in a, in a way that are welded together. And so what it acts like as another protection zone. So once you get into impact, it will then accordion in on itself. And each time it folds in, it's gonna release uh, more of that impact to your brain, uh, to the helmet, uh, which is really nice. So where do we put that in? We have that in something that we call our session. And this is what we have our zonal impact. So it's gonna be on the temples, which is about 40% of all crashes that happen on the uh, head are really on the sides. Um, and then it goes to the back and a little bit on the front. So with this being zonal, we're protecting um, almost half where the crashes can possibly happen. And if you look uh, in through there, Zach, you see those little ports? I little see those little ports on the yeah, side. Yeah, you see that on each side? What do you think uh, that might be for? You know, you guys make some other products that I think cover your eyes. Yes, exactly. We now have glasses ports on our helmets, which I know people who have first generation Smith helmets are jumping for joy because <laughs> there is some way to put your glasses on your helmet now. One, it looks cool, and two, they're not falling anymore too. So that's great. Um, also with having that zonal impact, we have been able to make really good ports in the middle to allow great ventilation. Uh, so that's a huge thing on here. Also comes far back on the back of the head. So if you do hit your head falling backwards, you have that protection there. And then also again, you have that little piece for temples. Um, super great, fantastic ratcheting system on here as well. And then three different, back here if you could see, three different options to be able to bring down the retention system, depending on if you have a ponytail, which is that, you can definitely put a ponytail through any of our helmets. Like that. uh, so that's the great thing. And again, that's the session. So zonal protection on this one. And from here, uh, we're gonna go to, as our half shell, our most protected helmet that is out here, which is called our forefront. So as you can see, this is going to be fully uh, integrated with our choroid, except with our two breathing ports, which would be right here. Um, if you're looking for a helmet that's going to be, without being able to have a full chin bar, that's going to be the most protected out there on the, uh, the mountain, uh, this is going to be a great one to go with because as you can see, there's choroid all over the place. Still comes down pretty far in the back, has great temple protection as well, great mobile visor as well. And then also, if you can see right here, we do have a port for uh, a GoPro mount, uh, which is really nice. I know a lot of people like to take their own videos uh, and be able to uh, post on Instagram for all their moms to watch. Uh, so this is a really nice helmet for that. Um, this has definitely been our flagship for our, our line. This is now the second generation of here. We've definitely made some changes to it with the looks, but functionality, and uh, also adding some breathing ports on here to really uh, make this helmet also very breathable. Uh, but we went protection first, then look second, and we came out with a really, really nice helmet. I know a lot of people, if they're looking at pink bite, a lot of riders on there are rocking the forefront too, um, just because one, fits really well, it's super comfortable, uh, but also just protection first, and those guys like to hug themselves. So if you're looking for a helmet that's protection driven, uh, the forefront is really great. Uh, one helmet that we're super excited for, uh, it's newest to our line, is uh, our main line. Super stoked on these. These have been out for about maybe a year, year and a half. Uh, super, super lightweight. Um, nice thing is, again, full protection on the choroid, but I mean, to be DH certified, uh, also e-bike certified, which is really big too. Now in the e-bike market is being huge, being able to take them on lifts. With having, again, the full croid on here, um, with having that extra protection, we're able to also get rid of some of the APS foam and then lighten up the helmet and also add a lot more ventilation points on here. So fatigue wise, having this thing on your head, um, it's not gonna hurt your neck. Um, or tired you out as much as something that like our competitors would be out there. I mean, what other option do you have? And I know you've got one of these. I have to have one of these. So, I mean, I, Zach's a good rider and I know he's <laughs> gonna pick really good products. So, 
Been super stoked with this. I don't know if I should be showing you this one because it is our 2023 lineup. Uh, but you know, from the path, you guys get to see some things first. Uh, but the really cool one too in Zach's hand is our uh, Iago edition. Uh, it's our athlete collection. We do it for uh, different uh, parts of our line. We will do an athlete edition and that's our athlete goggles and athlete uh, helmet, which is the, our, uh, our, the Iago series, which I uh, think is pretty damn cool. Um, so super excited for this, uh, which is like we call it in mainline. Uh, the nice thing is we do have great integration with our goggles. We like to say it's, uh, we're telling a story uh, with both glasses, goggles, and helmets. So they, sit, they fit seamlessly, but it also helps promote airflow throughout the whole entire helmet itself. Um, so that's a really great thing to be able to buy the Smith lineup from, I mean, neck up. So the name is Smith Optics. We spent a little time talking about helmets, but let's get into the meat and potatoes. Optics. Let's look at some glasses and goggles you guys are manufacturing. You know, as you just said, Smith Optics. Optics, it's in our name. Uh, we have quite a few different styles of glasses that you can go for. Um, when I mean styles, we have performance, we have active, we have lifestyle, and we have water. So there's a few different options where you can find yourself really living in a category, and we do have some that kind of go across categories, which is really nice. Mm. Um, one of the big ones that we have out right now is we do have a few lifestyle pieces, um, which this is like a tiny little like scratch on the big old repertoire that we really have. And then this one right here is actually a really good showing of what we have in our performance line. And then, which I'll consider them optics as well, we have goggles too, because that is still protecting the eyes, uh, but you just don't have the arms as a normal glass with. You have a really nice elastic band. Hmm. Um, before I go into the performance, what I'm really gonna wanna show you right now is just a few of our best sellers when it comes to our lifestyle. Um, our best seller that's been kind of our tried and true is going to be our lowdown. Uh, this is also our newer rendition of the lowdowns. So we actually have some metal on the temples. So kind of created this nice flashy sex appeal to the standard Wayfair uh, frame style. Um, and also it's very lightweight, which is really, really nice. Um, big thing about these as well too um, is we, you can have a polarized version and a non-polarized version, uh, and also chroma pop polarized, uh, which is really, really nice. So lowdown is going to be the big one. Um, the new one that I really like is the Wanders. As you know, circles in. Uh, this is kind of like a really nice dual gender uh, piece with uh, nice oversized uh, circular frames. There you, look how cool you look. Great. I always look cool, that's the thing. Great with that mustache too. And I wanna go always, but in this <laughs> instant, for sure cool. Uh, yeah, this is a wander. Again, following that metal temple, looks just really classy, uh, really sexy, and uh, really stoked with the wanders. Um, before I really talk about more of the glasses, what I really wanna talk about is which we have in our full um, active line. Um, and also with our goggles as well, is we have a thing called Chromopop in our lenses. And that's what really uh, separates us from like our competition. Um, and what Chromopop is, is it helps with color saturations. And uh, you know, there's other companies that do uh, help with color saturation as well. Oakley has Prism, we have Chromopop. So how everybody implements that into their glasses and lenses is a little bit different. Uh, when you're out on the uh, riding the trails on the road, you want to be able to see features like roots, rocks, ruts, and on the road, potholes, debris, anything like that that can be in your way that kind of is the same shade uh, of color to like the dirt or whatever whatever uh, uh, geography that you're riding on. Uh, you want to be able to see all the features. So Chromopop, uh, what we have on there is it helps with color saturation. So really how it works is we see a lot of blue, greens, and reds but how we see it's all wavelengths. So what it does is there's etching in these glasses, and so in the wavelength where the blue, greens, and reds all uh, meet, it has a certain wavelength. So with the etching, the uh, etching cancels out that wavelength, so it can't go into your eyes. And so you won't see that uh, the saturation of those colors, 
So things will really pop out at you and you can see true colors. Right, it brings um, a lot of those like overshadowed tones and kind of makes them a little more vibrant and stand out more independently from each other. Exactly, it's not so muted, you know? Right. It's not just co completely just conformed all together. It stands out. Um, so we have that in most of our line for our casual, but our performance has it completely down the road. Um, some cool things that we have is, like I said, with cross uh, sports, is Zach, if you want to grab that flywheel and show the, uh, show the camera what, uh, how that looks. The nice thing about the flywheel is, as you see, the uh, arms have a little bit of a downturn. Big old sweat back on the back of them. Exactly. So the comfortability, like a regular glass, is it's there. Um, this is our dual sport piece. It's our performance, um, both for uh, cycling, climbing, I mean, anything, running, anything else that's gonna be that you want a good shield for, but still have comfortability factor on there, that's gonna be the flywheels. Um, that's gonna be, in our performance line, our only fixed lens, so you can't change it to a different color or a clear, and that's the only one of our line that doesn't come with a different lens. All of our other line, once you buy a Smith uh, a glass, it'll have a clear or an amber color lens with it, which is really cool. We just in include that with the price, uh, so you're able to switch them out if you're gonna be in some dark, uh, dark conditions or if you're mountain biking and you're going through some trees. Um, another one is our Ruckus. This was a really cool like founding piece for us because this was our first jump into uh, kind of the new age style. As you know, a few years ago, um, the glass style started getting bigger, more protection, and just kind of just crazy altogether. So this was our first jump into it with our Ruckus. Um, the nice thing about this one too, this is our second generation Pivlock series. And if anybody's familiar with our other Pivlocks, uh, the pivoting mechanism would be on the lenses, which would scare the living daylights out of some people, uh, just because you would think you would fl turn the, uh, pivot the arms and you would think it would uh, crack the glass. Luckily, or the lens, luckily that really never happened, but to put everybody's uh, minds at ease, now we have it pivot on this really um, small attachment that's going to be off, off the lens. And then we also have uh, a little nipple right there that will go on to that little circle and then be able to uh, ratchet back on. So to change these lenses out um, takes 30 seconds. So that's really cool, which is called our Pivlock series, uh, the Ruckuses. Um, the next family, what I'll go into is we have our mag series right here. Um, this is going to be called our shift mag. We also have an attack mag um, with us calling it mag magnets. Uh, so the really cool thing is if you grab the temples, there's just magnets right in there. And what that does is it makes it super simple to change these out to the clear lens. Um, you just kind of follow the bridge back in um, the channel and then you just pop them right in and you are done. So super cool, super easy, um, kind of going that new age style. Um, this one's gonna be now a little bit more of the framing, but still oversized. Uh, movable uh, nose piece as well, but super nice, great lens quality on here too. This, uh, mat, this matte cement and green lens is uh, a really new fun color that we've been br uh, bringing out. But uh, yeah, just a great, technology with that mag. But the really exciting ones that really put us back on the map to just having a badass glasses, it's gonna be our Wildcat right here. Our Wildcats are uh, modeled after our squad goggles. So ultimate protection in, for wind and dust or anything else that might fly up at your face, this is a really great option for you to have. But with it being a glasses version, it's really comfortable. Um, so even with like our full face, this is a great one to use like on a hot day and you're just goggles are just too much the foam and everything This will fit perfectly inside there as well Create still a good seal because all of our helmets and glasses are made to sit uh, to fit seamlessly in, uh, Within each other and this is a great piece for a full face and all of our other helmets pretty big oversized for us um, you know, this was a great piece, but people are like I love this piece, but I just have a small head I, I wish we would come out with something smaller. You know, we heard it, we heard it, and we're like, yeah, we don't need it. But then finally, we decided to listen to everybody. Uh, for your smaller faces out there, we just came out with our Bobcat. Uh, this one's super fun, especially with our matte marble colorway. Uh, this is something that you knew that we decided to put throughout our whole entire line. 
Uh, and if you wanted to rock those on again too for us, Zach, um, if you guys can notice over there, it's about 25% um, higher on the cheekbones. Um, so it doesn't go as far down. Um, again, he's just rotating that uh, nose piece out so it sits a little bit closer to his face. A little, little bit closer and a little bit lower on my nose so it, the coverage comes down a little bit too. Yeah, you got that bigger bridge so that's like the best position right, for exactly. you. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, it's just a little bit shorter but then captures that smaller face shape. And so you're able to have just great protection um, from both all the elements, uh, wind, dust, but without having something that looks absolutely ridiculous on you. So that's the really nice thing about the Bobcats. Um, on here, how to change these two is you just have to peel off the lens itself and it'll just pop right out and then to put it back in. Um, so a little bit more hands-on with these guys, but once you do it once, it goes on there. Um, fairly simple. And uh, you might feel like you're gonna break them, but the good thing is they're strong. You just need to make sure you have your, uh, uh, your uh, cleaner with you you're gonna touch your hands all over them. But yeah, that really rounds off the lines for uh, the performance style for our glasses. Uh, now moving on to our goggles. Uh, our goggles are uh, a really great option to have for like ultimate protection. We have the nice foam on there, but also have great coverage on there. So it really helps eliminate all the elements that are gonna be out there. Uh, wind, dust, anything like that that could possibly get in your eyes. Those are gonna be able to really protect you. Uh, we have a few different models. Within our goggles, we have the Squad XLs, the Squads, the Fuel V2s, and the Fuel V1s. Uh, so the goggles have been something that we've been having in our line for years and years now. As I was saying with the Chromapop, we do that within our higher level of our line. Uh, going from the top two, you have the Squads, which you can see you have the little tear-off parts that you can get on there, and then the Squad XLs. Oversized is great. Um, you know, I've been asked questions too, do we have an RX style uh, goggle that we have out there. Unfortunately, we don't have one specific for it, but the Squad XLs for some glasses styles, you can actually fit the glasses inside and get over there. So you can possibly get away with still wearing your glasses with our goggles. Um, nice thing about those top two is they do come with an extra lens too, a clear or even like an amber color as well. And then you have more of the basic style fuel at the bottom. Still can do tear offs on there as well, um, but not removable on that one. And the really cool thing, I guess I will take these, is we have this open lattice network on these. Um, really nice thing about that is one, ventilation and breathability, but if you can see, it forms really well to the face. Um, so comfortability wise, it jumps up. I know you have, uh, you have one yourself, so. It pairs really well with the main line. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, color um, tie backs, like as you could saw for the Iago one, uh, we also do a lot of glasses to helmets. So if you really, really want to be matchy-matchy. It works well. <laughs> you can do it with us, yeah. So that's been uh, a really nice thing. And just to round out the whole optics division of it, as we were saying from the beginning, this would be a great, great lineup uh, that we have. All right, well, that just about does it for our Smith Spotlight, going through the thousands of helmets and glasses that I wasn't actually aware Smith made all of that. And we only covered We've got a, few. a little bit of it. Yeah, you guys do have a, a, quite a few. Uh, just going through mainly the mountain stuff here, but they make a ton of other road and commuter style stuff. It's all listed on your guys' website. Yeah, smithoptics.com. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're not local to our shop, we list all of our Smith Optics uh, helmets and glasses on our website. So feel free to check those out. If you're not local to us, you can order them direct off our website, get them shipped right to your door. Very easy to get that done. So. Uh, again, all that stuff's on the website. Hit us up on our socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those whatnot. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Until next time, Dom, yeah. thanks for coming out. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Of course. <laughs>